Ladies and gentlemen, boys and girls, I am now of the belief that Alexi Lafreniere, projected top two, top three pick in the 2020 NHL entry draft, absolutely needs to go to the Montreal Canadiens. Alexi Lafreniere doit aller aux Canadiens de Montreal et c'est vraiment évident comprendre. Okay, that's my few years worth of French in high school coming out right there, but this is what I believe. Alexi Lafreniere absolutely needs to go to the Canadiens, and here's why. I have a number of reasons lined up, and I think, upon looking at the title and the thumbnail of this video, a lot of you guys probably were like, okay, I think I get where he's going with this one, but I'm gonna go with it anyway, because it's really obvious and it's really something important to me. Montreal's just had that unfortunate luck in the past few years. The last time they actually made a splash anywhere was in 2014, where they made the conference finals, but ever since that, they've lost in the second round, the first round, and they haven't qualified for really anything. And the Canadians now are coming off of a season where they went 29, 40, and 13. And things are just so bad over there in Montreal. The whole Domi Galchenyuk thing that went on. It's just terrible. The whole treatment of Galchenyuk, oh my goodness, and the way they basically sent out Subban a few years ago, things aren't really looking the entire best that they could over there in the city of French-speaking Canadians. But fear not, because two years from now, we're going to be having Alexi Lafreniere in the NHL, and I think that he needs to be a Canadian. First off, the French connection is too strong. We've seen this in the past. My friend Hockey Circle made an incredible video talking about Louis LeBlanc and why he was supposed to be the next best Montreal great, but that didn't end up happening. He was drafted in 2009 in Montreal by the Montreal Canadiens, and everybody was hype about it, but he didn't turn out. And now they're on the rise of a new French-Canadian prospect coming up into the NHL. And the number one, potential number one pick overall, by the way. And on top of this, take a look at Montreal's depth chart. Who's the best prospect they have aside from Kotkaniemi, who is a center? Ryan Paling, maybe, who is also a center. And you got other guys in there, Jesse Yulanen, Jacob Olofsson, and some guys in the farm team as well, like McCarran and Kirby Reichel, William Bitten. But overall, none of these guys, aside from Kotkaniemi, really screams elite number one. Kotkaniemi potentially could be that one day. I see more of a top six guy in Kotkaniemi, but if Lafreniere were to go over to the Canadiens, a winger, he would go over there and he would totally take over that number one spot. And having a one-two punch on your first line of Kotkaniemi and the winger, Alexi Lafreniere, would be incredible. Kotkaniemi's got that two-way game, and he's able to produce offensively. Lafreniere is just Lafreniere, and he's amazing. Something like this happening would make everybody happy. The Canadians fans would be happy. Canadians would be happy. They finally got their number one French guy. Drouin is not necessarily that guy, but imagine having Lafreniere and Drouin. That would be the best case scenario when everybody would be on board. Lafreniere, who's from Quebec and who's grown his entire life in the Quebec area, Assuming he's French, because, you know, his last name is Lafreniere, he's going to be great with this too. And everybody wants a chance to play for their home team, right? Right? And everybody who would be looking at this would be like, yeah, this is the best case scenario here. Lafreniere, as much as every NHL team would probably want him because he is the number one left wing, arguably the best left winger that we're having in a draft in a very long time. I'm trying to think of comparables here, but... I, I can't. You could say Philip Zadina because they were literally on the same level in this past QMJHL season, but like Zadina was two drafts before Lafreniere, so the draft stock isn't necessarily the same at this point in time. But the bottom line is, Alexis Lafreniere doit aller à Montreal. Il est un talent incroyable. Et les Canadiens de Montreal, il bénéficiera. Hope you guys enjoyed this video for plus and that's just gaming. And bye.